Over 30 years ago, um, in The Economist, which is uh, largely funded by the Illuminati uh, Rothschilds, there were some things that were said that we're now seeing beginning to come to pass. Look what this says here, folks. Get ready for a world currency. This was 30 years ago. This was back in 1989. If you look at that coin there on the front, that looks a lot like the Bitcoin, doesn't it? I'm not saying it is the Bitcoin, but this was 30 years ago. And the currency that's supposed to replace all world currency is going to be called the Phoenix, according to this article. There's some things that are said in this article that I think is very important for us to understand. Now, before I read these things to you, I want you to understand that um, that uh, even the CEO of Google said this is where he goes to to get his his global perspective. He says he'd be lost without his global uh, perspective. That's just one billionaire that, uh, and there's others, um, but that's just one of them. And so, obviously, this information is not, uh, you know, this information comes from the top, as far as the top of the pyramid. Are you listening? This is not information that's just uh, hearsay. This is the global elites, that they, they call themselves the global elites, or the ruling class. These are the ones that can consider themselves to be, um, you know, privileged, the privileged, the ruling class. And what they say is, is just absolutely stunning. What they say is so stunning. But <clears throat> let, me, um, let me point out one thing that they say that is, probably should really get your attention, I think. Listen to what it says. As the next century approaches, now remember this was back in 1989, 30 years ago. As the next century approaches, the natural forces that are pushing the world towards economic integration will offer governments a broad choice. They can go with the flow or they can build barricades. Are you listening, people? The Rothschilds are saying you can either go with the flow, speaking to the governments of the world, you can either go with the flow or build barricades. Why is this significant? Now notice the phoenix here, rising out of the ashes of the fiat money. This is the world currency going up in smoke. That's what this picture represents. And the phoenix represents a resurrection or a, uh, a born again or a birth. So out of the fiat money out of the world currency is going to come forth a new currency, a global currency. And that's exactly what this article is about. Now, I want to read something to you at the end here that really should get your attention. It says... Well, I want to read, just, I'm just going to read this part right here. It says, pencil in the phoenix, which is the currency that's going to replace all currencies. Pencil in the phoenix for around 2018. 
and welcome it when it comes. That was 30 years ago. This was written 30 years ago, people. Pencil in the Phoenix for around 2018 and welcome it when it comes. If you don't go with the flow, then you need to build barricades. Right now, they have centralized banks in every country of the world except a few. And Iran is one of those. And so do you wonder why Donald Trump and Israel, which is the Rothschilds, which is the Illuminati, do you wonder why they're going after Iran? Also, Donald Trump wants to reenact what was called the Phoenix Program. And the Phoenix Program basically was torture. That's right, torture. And to remove all due process. So we saw what happened under Bush and under uh, Obama when it came to waterboarding, when it came to torture. Well, Donald Trump's going to rule with an iron fist, people. And I've been telling you he was going to do this. He's been planning all along. And everything is being set up right now for a police state. Donald Trump celebrates the United Nations. He's not against the United Nations. You got to remember that Donald Trump doesn't care about after he's not president anymore. He don't care. It's about his business. It's about it's about money. It's about power. He knows he's not going to be president forever. So the United Nations is his choice. A one world government to rule all the people. And how many know that the World Bank is already in place? The world currency is already in place. And the United Nations, the one world government, is already in place. They already have uh, the means to issue everyone on the earth a chip. The technology's already been put in place. It's all here. And I, I believe that the chip is part of the mark of the beast. I don't think it's the whole, but I think it's part of it. You will not be able to buy or sell without that chip. And that chip will track you and will track everything about you all in the name of peace and security. And this will be mandated under the governance of the United Nations. Now notice again what they say. They're saying this to the governments of the world. They're giving them 30 years to get ready. They're saying you either welcome the one world currency or build barricades. Do you remember what uh, Bush said? Bush said you're either with us or you're for the terrorists. You remember that? Now Donald Trump's talking about putting military on guard where there's supposed to be a wall. He's going to station U.S. military around the United States to protect America, so-called. Supposedly. We know what's happening here, people. There's a police state coming. It, it starts out this way, where it sounds like they're keeping us safe. It's like one person said, how do you know the wall that they want to build around the United States or build them between us and Mexico? How do you know they're not building that wall to keep us in? Huh? Not a wall to keep them out, but a wall to keep us in. You say it can't happen, Brother Joseph. Look at history, people. Look at history. Don't tell me it can't happen. Look at Hitler. 
Look at Stalin. Look at just in China right now, there's, there is uh, dictatorship. There's tyranny. There's, there is uh, tyranny going on. Dictatorship. Folks, you got to understand. We've been saying for so long, United, it'll never happen here. It can't happen in the United States. And that's where we, we would be wrong. Because it is happening. It is being implemented right now. All in the name of peace and safety. That's right. All in the name of keeping you safer. Let's get the guns out of the people's hands to make everybody safer. That's what they're saying. So, there are people out there that believe Donald Trump is this phoenix rising out of the ashes. He's the one that's bringing the United States out of the ashes. He's going to make America great again. Interesting. I want to read this to you again, people. 30 years ago, pencil in the Phoenix, the new world currency, for around 2018 and welcome it when it comes. You know what they're saying there? They're advising you strongly. Welcome it. You don't have a choice is what they're saying. You're either going to welcome it or you're in trouble. And just like George Bush Sr. said, what's at stake is more than a small country. It's a big idea. A new world order can emerge. If you look at the words that are used there, they're esoteric words, emerge. And it's the same word that could be used where the phoenix is rising out of the ashes, emerging. Right now in the United States of America and around the world, local uh, countries, locally to every country, their economies are collapsing. We're seeing economies collapsing around the world right now. And the United States of America is collapsing. It's happening. And it's all been planned. And the Fed is what's controlling it. You might call it a controlled demolition. Just like the Twin Towers were brought down. This is a controlled implosion of the economy, people. And it's been planned. This is a conspiracy of all conspiracies. A new world order. One world government, one world economy, or one world monetary system. And then you know what's left after that. The worship of the beast. Everything's in place. Do you know the only thing left to happen on this earth for the man of sin to show up? The only thing that was left is a falling away. And that's not a falling away from activity, religious activity, or going to church. That's a falling away from the truth. And just because you go to church, just because the house of God may be filled with people doesn't mean there's not a falling away taking place. When people have no interest in the word of God, have no interest in sound doctrine, do not want to hear truth, that's a falling away. And there has to be a falling away first before that man of sin can be revealed. So everything's being set up for that man of sin. It's all being put in place. He's going to be the most charismatic leader 
When he first shows up, he's going to be this man of tremendous charisma. That's right. Tremendous charisma. And I've been trying to help you understand that this is all being put together by the false prophet in the Vatican. All of this is being set up by the false prophet. The Roman Empire. That's right. Rome. And you, when you see Donald Trump working together with evangelicals that are really not Christians, but they are part of the charismatic renewal, they're part of the word of faith movement, which came from the Catholic Church. And you see Donald Trump being prayed for by them. I'm going to tell you right now, people, you're not going to hear these charismatic leaders speaking against the New World Order. They might do it tongue-in-cheek, but they're not doing it for real. They want the New World Order. Because they're sold out. They're ministers of Satan. Satan comes as an angel of light and his ministers transform themselves. A new world order is emerging. It is happening. And I wanted you to see that 30 years ago, they said it was going to happen around 2018, the world currency. We're seeing it, people. It's happening. It's happening. They are deliberately, systematically calculating the collapse of the economy in the United States. That's right. They're doing it in such a way that people will think they did everything they could to stop it. And I'm going to tell you people, they are the ones controlling the collapse. They're absolutely controlling it. Like I said, just like they brought the Twin Towers down is the same way. And you think about this. The Twin Towers represented what? Represented what, people? The stock market. Right? The... the uh, financial institution. And so now they go after the economy. Look at the shock wave that the Twin Towers caused around the world. Can you imagine if the dollar collapses and is destroyed? What will that do worldwide? It will cause the whole world to come down e econ economically. They know if they destroy the United States currency, it'll bring down the whole world. They know that. And that's what you see in this picture. That's what you see in this picture. This is the new currency coming out of the old currency. This is the old currency giving birth to a new currency. That's right. And that's why they use the picture of the phoenix that rises from the ashes every 500 years. That's right. And this is a mythical bird that doesn't exist. This is a mythical bird from Egypt. The Bible says they trust in the shadow of Egypt. Look at what it says. Get ready for a world currency. 30 years ago they were saying that. The rise of the Phoenix world currency from ashes of the national fiat currencies. Destruction of fiat currencies via hyper 
inflation. Is that what's happening in the United States? Absolutely. Phoenix is, of course, an occult metaphor. Out of the destruction of the ashes of world order, of the new world order, the Luciferian new world order will rise like a phoenix. And it's happening. It is happening. 